Welcome to video J4. Uh, there's two problems, more advanced remainder problems, part A and part B. Part A. When n is divided by 5, the remainder is 1. What is the remainder when 3n is divided by 5? So what I usually do for this is just look for some concrete numbers and see what's going on. So um, I know that 6 divided by 5 has a remainder of 1, so I'll just choose to let n equal 6, and again 6 divided by 5 equals 1 remainder 1. All right, then 3n equals 3 times 6 equals 18. 18 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 3. So my answer is remainder 3. All right, you should try uh, this one on your own and check your results. Uh, pause the uh, video. Part B, when n is divided by seven, the remainder is two. What is the remainder when three n is divided by seven? Again, uh, if the remainder is two, it's gonna just be two more than that, so I'm gonna let n be nine. So nine divided by seven equals one remainder two. I verified that first part. Now just three n. Three n equals three times nine equals 27. 27 divided by seven is going to be three remainder six. So the answer is gonna be remainder six. And there you have it, how to solve some more advanced remainder problems.